What's up guys, today we're gonna to be editing some creative transitions and effects in Final Cut Pro 11. First up, we have this zoom out transition through the sign on the building. Here is my raw video clip for this. So if your video clip is stabilized, then the first thing you want to do is right click and put it into a new compound clip. So next we need to split the video clip where we want the transition to finish. Select the video clip and go to the magnetic mask tool here and just add the magnetic mask. Next, we need to select the part that we want to transition through. And if you hold down option and click on the parts you don't want, once the part that you need is fully highlighted in red, then we can click analyze up here. And that's going to track the mask to this sign, nice and easy. And then we can just click done up here. So now we're just left with the sign right here. And we need to go up to the magnetic mask over here, click on the mask tool and then click invert masks. Now we can Go to the transform tool here, click the drop down menu and go to crop and then select Ken Burns. And we want to click this button up here to switch the boxes so that the end box is around the full video clip. And then the start box, we can make small and fit it inside of that mask we just made. And then right click and make sure ease in is selected and click done. Now we can copy and paste our video clip, hold down option and click and drag the video clip up. On the video clip underneath, let's go up to the mask up here and just click invert mask. And then go back to the crop tool and just slide the green box off to one side and click done. Now the sign will slide in to finish off that transition. And if you wanted to make this transition quicker, because it's not a freeze frame, we can't just trim the clips anymore. We have to select them, right click, select new compound clip. And then from here, if we press command R on the keyboard, we can speed this up and that will speed up the transition. I like to add a speed ramp out of these transitions. So if I move forward in my video clip and hold down shift B, this will create this little speed ramp here. And then we can either drag this or select the drop down menu, go to fast times eight. And that will create a little speed ramp out of the transition. I also like to add a little shake effect out of these. So if we go up to the titles tab, Go down to adjustment layer. Adjustment layers don't come with Final Cut Pro, but it's a free plugin that you can download. I'll leave the link to it in the description. If we drag this over the video clip, it's going to allow us to add effects to all of the video clips underneath it. So it's a really useful plugin that I do recommend downloading. Next, I'm going to go to my effects tab and add a shake effect. I like to use this shake preset pack. I'll leave a link to it in the description. It doesn't come with Final Cut Pro but it's probably the best shake effects that you can use just because you can customize all of the parameters on the shake and pretty much create any type of shake you want. So now we have a nice little shake out of the transition. Now we can drag our previous video clip underneath this transition layer that we just made. Now we have that zoom out through the sign transition. For the light wipe effect on the sign here, Firstly, we need to copy and paste the video clip. On this layer, if we go to the magnetic mask tool, add the magnetic mask effect and just mask out the sign and then click analyze to track that mask. Click done up here. And then we need to go to the color board and turn up the shadows so it goes kind of like a bright color. Next, we can add a shape mask here. Make the shape mask nice and narrow like that and move it to one side of the sign at the start. Then let's click the keyframe button over here on that shape mask, move forward in the timeline and just drag that to the other side of the mask. Click done. And now if we play that back, we get this light wipe effect. Moving on to this glowing outline effect. Firstly, what I need to do is copy and paste my video clip. On the top layer, let's add the magnetic mask effect and just select the part that you want to add the outline effect to and then click analyze. Then click done. And this effect doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave a link to it in the description. I use this energy effect from the mask glow effects pack. And then I added this clock wipe effect so that the mask glow effect goes around the image like that. So moving on to this next effect. Firstly, I added a speed ramp on the video clip to create a zoom at the start of it. This obviously only works because I have a nice shot which walks up to the artwork here and then stops. So we can create a nice zoom in. And then also if I copy and paste my video clip, add this into a compound clip and then go here to the speed wheel and click reverse clip. Then we can get this nice boomerang effect. 
For the sliding background effect, what I did was copy and pasted my video clip. And on this top layer, if we go to the magnetic mask tool, add the magnetic mask and select the artwork here, hold down option to deselect the parts we don't want, and then click analyze to track the mask. Click done up here. On this top layer, I'm going to copy and paste it again. And on the middle layer, I'm going to add the offset effect, the sliding offset effect, drag that onto my video clip. So now we have that sliding effect behind the subject. I'm also going to copy and paste the shake effect that I made before and paste that above. So now we get this shake effect added. For the next transition, we have this cutout pop-in effect where we use a part of the second video clip, cut it out and then pop it onto the screen to transition to that video clip. So here we have just a straight cut between the two video clips. On the second video clip, what I'm going to do is hold down option and click and drag the video clip up to create a copy. And then on the first frame of this second video clip, let's create a freeze frame. So hold down shift and press H. Then we can trim this hold frame and use the magnetic mask tool here. Add that onto the video and select the part that you want to pop onto the screen. And then just click analyze to track that mask. Click done. Now we can drag this freeze frame over the top of our first video clip. And at the end, on the last frame, let's go over here to scale and click the keyframe button at 100% and just move back and turn the scale down to zero. So this will pop that freeze frame onto the screen and then transition into that next video clip. We can also copy and paste that shake effect and just add that so that it starts over the second video clip. This will add a bit of impact to the transition. On this next shot, I added some glow to the pizza here. And to do that, what we need to do is copy and paste our video clip. And on this top video clip, let's add the magnetic mask effect and just select the part that we want to add this glow to and then click analyze, then click done. So now we can add a glow effect to this layer. I used the glint glow effect and turned up the intensity and turned down the glint size. And then I copy and pasted this video clip. And on the middle layer to add the light ray glow effect, I added the light ray preset. If you don't have this and you wanted to create it from scratch, then what you could do is go to blur and add the zoom blur onto this and just turn the zoom blur up and then play around with the glint settings and change the look to variable. So yeah, now we get this glow effect around the pizza here. For this next effect here, originally I just had a top down shot coming out from this pizza here. And then I created another layer, added the magnetic mask tool on the pizza and then keyframed the rotation and actually made the pizza spin on the table like that, which I thought looked pretty cool. I also copy and pasted this layer, added the magnetic mask tool to the pizza, click analyze up here to track the mask, click done. And then I also added this replicator effect. I'll leave a link to this effect in the description. It's a really cool effect. We can create copies of whatever we mask out and then it will animate them to create a really cool effect. We can change how many copies we have using the points slider here. And then we can copy and paste this layer on the top layer. We just get rid of the effect. The copies will come out from behind the subject. I also added some liquid distortion to the background. So on this bottom layer here, I added this liquify effect here to create this sort of trippy effect. You can create these type of effects. If you go to the distortion tab in the effects tab, then you can use the underwater effect or the wave effect, and that will create this distortion type of effect. I also use the same type of effects on the next shot to create a transition. To create the zoom through transition, what I did was split my video clip where I want the transition to start. And then if we go to the magnetic mask tool and select the part that we want to zoom through, click analyze to track that mask and then click done. And then over here, we can click invert mask. Now let's go to the crop tool and go to the Ken Burns effect and make the end box small and put it inside of the mask you just made. And then right click, make sure ease out is selected. Click done. And now that should zoom into the mask. Now we can copy and paste this layer and on the bottom layer here, go back to the crop tool, go to Ken Burns, 
select the end box and slide that off to the side, click done and make sure the magnetic mask, you click invert masks. Then we can drag in our second video clip and put it underneath both of these layers. And that will create a transition through, through that mask. So I also created another layer and added a mask glow effect and some light rays. And then I also added a liquify effect and some glow effects to the second video clip to give it a bit of a trippy transition effect. For these transitions of the artwork, I just used the same techniques I did with the pizza ones. For the audio effect on the music, I used this AU low pass effect and just dragged it onto my audio. And over in the parameters over here, if we turn the cutoff frequency all the way up, that will be normal audio. And then we can add a keyframe, move forward slightly in the audio and just turn this down and you'll see how the waveforms change there. And this will create that sort of underwater type of effect. Finally, to color grade this project, what I did was dragged in an adjustment layer over the whole project. This adjustment layer is a free plugin which you can download. I'll leave the link to it in the description. And on this adjustment layer, if we go up to the T icon here, we can add in a LUT. And the LUT I use for this one is this DJI Mavic 3 at around 40%. And then for the second LUT, I added the orange dolphin effect and just set that at around about 40% as well. After that, to make adjustments, if we select the individual video clips, go to the color board. I use the color board to adjust each video clip individually. I also added a glow effect to the adjustment layer, which will give a slight glow around the highlights on the video to give it a bit of a softer cinematic look. Finally, I added a bit of sharpen to the adjustment layer. If I turn this up, you can see how it gives like a sharper look to the image. I find this just helps when uploading to social media to make the video clip look a bit higher quality. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next video, I'm going to be going through even more Final Cut Pro 11 tips and tricks. So subscribe if you want to check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.